rough go of it, you know, but finding the positives and coming out better, uh, it's not common, I don't think, in the American criminal justice system. Yeah. Like, reform's not really normally their goal. It's, re- you know, repeat business. So, yeah, it, it is profit. really yeah. recognize that. Yeah, especially for, now for profit. Yeah. Now you have to be very, very intentional to reform. It, it's definitely set up to go the other direction. Um, and I was told that before I ever went down there, like, you're going to have to do this, and you're going to have to join this. And, you're gonna, and I'm like, nah. Not doing any of that. Um, none of that's going to happen. And, and it's just like a known fact. Like once you go there, it's you're getting thrown to the wolves, and you kind of have to act a certain way. And and you know it's cool. I mean, I think fortunately, just being a bigger dude helped. I think to kind of pick on weaker guys, but more than anything, just being respectful and um, just kind of putting your head down and, and doing your time was was the thing. And people ask me all the time, like, so did you have to do this? Did you have to join the gang? Yeah, yada yada. And I'm like, no, you know, no, I didn't. Fortunately. Um, it, it was just, I went about it a different way and just tried to respect everybody. And again, put my head down quietly and just tried to improve myself. And, you know, I just say, Hey man, I'm just trying to get home to my kids. That's it. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> you know, if a, if something came up, an opportunity to do something stupid, it's like, nah, that could cost me more time. I'm not doing it. So, um, that was it, but you're, you're right, Gary. And I know Jay, you nodded to this too. It's not set up to reform you one bit. So 